Hi guys and welcome to a new video. My name's uh, Thomas as always and today is a little different. Normally I do gameplays and let's plays and just gameplay videos in general but today I'll be doing a Photoshop tutorial. Now it includes Grand Theft Auto San Andreas as you see before me. One of the greatest games ever sort of made for PC that's uh, moddable. And yes, I use the word mod which we will be modding today. Uh, today we'll be creating a t-shirt. So, a simple thing, creating a t-shirt in Photoshop or any other photo editing software that you might have available for say like, GIMP or any other sort of program but I'll be using Photoshop and showing you how to create it in there and then import it into uh, San Andreas so we can so you can have your own sort of t-shirt in San Andreas instead of one of the the crappy ones that Rockstar sort of produced in San Andreas so I mean that sort of even if it's a t-shirt you may own yourself for example or a t-shirt that we create from scratch which is what we're doing now at the moment I'm wearing a hoodie that I created the other day in Photoshop which is a of mice and men band hoodie and as you can see it's got the logo on the back and then at the front on our left on the right hand side the actual hoodie at the front is the little logo itself now today we'll be creating a t-shirt uh, which we'll be using the white t-shirt which if I just load up my um, one of my mods which is a uh, sort of a clothes sort of menu where you can go in and change any clothes that you want. I'm going to go into the pink one and go into white t-shirt. Now this basic crap t-shirt is what we're going to be editing today. So it's a basic white t-shirt which really crap. It's like it's like they haven't even done anything to it to be honest so we're going to be editing this today so let's just go back out and let's uh, start off by exiting uh, San Andreas and uh, before we do anything we need uh, an idea of what we want to sort of do our t-shirt because you don't want to just create one and you want to sort of want to see what style you want Today I'll be doing a Linkin Park t-shirt. Now I saw them a couple of weeks ago. Well, no, last month actually. A month today. Yeah, a month today I saw Linkin Park. Okay, so uh, at Download Festival. So I'm gonna open up. Now you see I've got two files here, which is in the tutorial folder. A sort of text Linkin Park logo and a the Linkin Park sort of emblem. Now. Both of these will be on the t-shirt, the Linkin Park one will be on the back and then the little emblem will be on sort of the front where the little of Mice and Men logo is on the uh, hoodie. Now fair enough, of Mice and Men and Linkin Park are touring to get together in November around Europe, so it's a little coincidence there. Now I'm just going to open up Photoshop. quickly and uh, whilst that's in the background uh, I'm gonna go into this oh, I'm gonna go into this which is GTA modding tools which is a f shortcuts for myself really now this is the uh, program that we need which is TXD workshop as I says links will be down below in the section below so I'm just gonna hit yes always when it has admin and now what we need to do is we have to open this file here called open image file. Now you need to go where you've saved uh, the GTA San Andreas game and uh, in terms of myself I haven't installed it in program files uh, easier access for me. I've created a folder on the C on my C called games and it's here. Now you need to go into folders and then into player dot img open up that 
And now you'll see on the left hand side is all the files in that folder. And uh, we need to look for the t shirt white uh, texture, as they call it, which is a texture pack. So I'll just move this out here. So no, now just go and uh, scroll. If you're not sure, what well, is you can do like a brief search at the bottom for, let's say, player, and it sort of shows the player texture. So this is CJ's face. Uh, but I know where this file is. Well, if I just go to hoodie A black, this is where my of mice and men hoodie is located, uh, which is replacing the original file. Now uh, we need to go down to T, which is for T-shirt, obviously, and we need to go down to here, which is T-shirt white. Now this is the file. Now what we need to do is you need to make sure it's selected because if you might have load of others but you need to select it and hit export and hit PNG and then go over to where your tutorial uh, folder is and we need to go down to the tutorial and just hit save and if we go into the folder you see you got it here TNG folder itself, not TNG, the PNG folder, not TNG, I was thinking Star Trek Next Generation there for a moment. And now, uh, so this is the uh, file, text file of that t shirt. So just go down to here. Uh, we're going to keep TXC Workshop open so we know where we are. But this is the uh, main file itself so what we need to do is now whenever I'm doing t-shirts or clothing or anything at all I always try to actually have uh, the logo logos at PNG files because when you pull them into Photoshop as they've already got the background disappeared so you can just cut it down and move it to wherever you want like so. Uh, now I need to change. Now, with the back logo, we want to try and keep it in these lines here because that's roughly where the back is. Because if we sort of do it outside of those lines, it will sort of warp around to uh, the sides, and we don't want it going around unless you do want the design to do that then feel free but okay now let's just move it around a bit some the center there we go okay That'll do for the actual tutorial. I don't need to go into minute detail, but I do. Always do. I always like to fine tune things so it looks right. So let's just drag and drop the other one. And as you see, the background is already uh, uh, gone. So we can just. Oh, don't want that. Always press shift when changing your images as well. Uh, so it just keeps it in uh, the right sort of uh, aspect. So if you don't press shift, your images will probably look like that. Or when you're doing them that way, they just sort of look weird. So you could... But I'm just going to re-import it in. And make sure shift's held down first. And then I'm just going to place it around about here for now. And then uh, good to go. Uh, now, these are the sleeves. 
which you could add stuff on the sleeves as well. So I, I could just make a new text layer and just hit the LP. Now the Transformers font was the last font I actually used, so it's quite fake because they actually did the soundtracks, uh, some songs for the soundtracks. So I'm just gonna. Change the size to about there, and actually, I'm going to change the font. Uh, let's go to a basic Arial Black. I'm just going to Arial. And then bold. That'll do. And let's just. I wouldn't normally put stuff on the arms, but just for the sake of the tutorial, might as well. And then same. Then let's duplicate layer. And then move it in the same place. Oh. Do you want them in the same place, really? It's about there. About there. But just. Yeah. That's, that's fine. So once you've done your design. Uh, and here we need to go and, ch and uh, save it. So, bring it up just to make sure it's something more or less level. So, we need to go and save it. Now, you can even save the as a PSD file so you can go in and change it. Features so you can just hide them all and add other stuff in. If we make more different t shirts, we want to make a pack of t shirts. And, uh, but what we need to do is uh, save it as a PNG file again. So we've got the alpha and the transparency still there. So I always go File, Save for Web. And then make sure it's PNG 24, transparency ticked. Everything else should be assigned to hit Save. Now, I'm just going to put N at the end. Actually, I'm just going to rename that, the old one. To zero, uh, O. So if you rename that to O for old, then you just save that as the PNG. Reason being is not necessarily, but I like to keep my names safe. So uh, now we need to go back to TXD Workshop, and we haven't left it. So what we do is make sure it's collect selected, hit import, and then select the new one. And you see it's there. It's changed. So if you hit alpha mask and yep, seems okay. Then we need to do that is save it twice. Firstly in save txt, which saves the the small texture file, then go to file, then save, which then saves the actual image file itself, and then File save, which then saves the main, which then saves the main file itself, which is player dot image, and until it's been saved is because it was last modified at 3:57 p.m. which is today. Now, okay, now just, I'm just going to close Photoshop. I'm going to hit. I'm not going to save the PSD file for this tutorial. Now, if now if you've installed your Grand Theft Auto San Andreas installation correctly, and you've in, if you've installed mods before, that's great. Then you know your actual models or your actual programs working. So we're just going to hit run and load up the game again. Uh, 
and then just skip this intro video. And we're just going to load up my game save again. Uh. So I didn't save it last time, but so it'll load up the My Cement hoodie again. Uh, so press the three to bring up my uh, my clothes slightly. We'll go to Binko and we'll go down to white t-shirt. When we've selected it, there you go, it's appeared in game. So you've got your uh, Lincoln Park logo top left, which is sort of on the front. And one thing I forgot to mention, if you're doing, doing the arms, one of them has to be the opposite way around uh, for it to work. Otherwise, it won't work. So uh, we'll just go down to the back for the pre back logo, and there we go. There's the Lincoln Park logo. More or less the right sort of uh, way, but as you sort of wearing it, it's sort of. But the logo's there, so it does work. And just hit select it to. Uh, select this so there's my Lincoln Park uh, t-shirt but in terms of the uh, in terms of the actual side arm bit I normally keep them blank because of the opposites thing but uh, it's 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 a good little t-shirt that I might keep that and uh, wear underneath the hoodie but in terms of the uh, just sorry guys that's how you sort of uh, quickly create a t-shirt in uh, well any sort of clothing really in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas you select the clothing you want uh, extract the original using TXT Workshop like I showed you then go into Photoshop edit it and then re-import it again as uh, you wish uh, next time I'll be doing a Another tutorial, but this time changing the billboards. Body, do, 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 Shut up, to you, CJ. Can't sing, mate. Can't sing. Anyway, before I was rudely interrupted by CJ, uh, next time I'll show you how to do the uh, change the billboards in game, sort of like the advertisements that you see around the actual state. <sighs> bit annoyed of the actual, well, a bit fed up, I should say, of the old the current ones that come with the game so I'm gonna create my own, I'm gonna create a few to replace a few of them one of them will be a Linkin Park one uh, due to their new album is out now so I'll be doing a Linkin Park The Hunting Party <laughs> shush CJ uh, so I'll be doing one of those billboards and uh, a few others so until next time my uh, name's Tom and uh, Look out in the near future for more uh, tutorials for modding in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Okay. Goodbye for now. Ta-da.